Hello everyone, so we are doing another curve tutorial. I'm going to explain more about the curves and the tools we have in curve. So we're not going to curve each and every tools. Even I don't understand each and every one. Some of them I don't really know why it is there. But we're going to cover up around half of them, which are much needed and that gets your job done. Almost most of it. So let's get into it. So let's start. Now you know how to create curve. Uh, let's reset the tool. This is how your curve generates. Press enter. First is your lock length. What does it do? Let's lock the length. Length is lock. So when we change a curve, the length doesn't change. It maintains its length. So to maintain its length, each and every point need to move. That's the only way. This is how we can do a rake. They're pretty nice actually. So this is the initial point and this is the end point. If you move the end point, initial point follows. Right, pretty nice to mess around and open up a lot of possibility in rake. So let's not play around. Unlock it. Bend. What does bend do? It kind of bend but doesn't really work properly. We don't have lots so we'll skip it. Next is smooth and straight. So what does straight do? Let's try with the straight. Smooth straighten. So you see as you apply straighten it kind of pretty much straight the line that's it or uh, when your smooth comes handy so we created this is shape and we apply smooth uh, it's pretty much a smooth smooth in it so let's reduce the smooth factor so yeah it's improve the shape but we are losing the length here as well so at one factor it's working pretty well smooth and my shape we don't really use it pretty much because it's not very clear we don't have a lot of control in it let's try another example so we are losing a lot of length here so maybe you are that bad then if you apply it just straighten the so that's it let's move to the next point next point is add point tool so what it does when you have created a shape a line and you by mistake you did it or you were doing something else then you feel you need to continue from here you go to the add point tool and start creating the shape after that like you stopped here you did something else and you add point tool this is how it works next is attach and detach so what it does I'm pretty not sure about detach but the attach like if you select two and it attach click to attach it will create a new curve and it will be a whole single curve so it leaves the older one and it creates a single curve this is how it works so when you have two or multiple curves you want to create a single curve you need to use attach what else if you detach it nothing will happen so this is our curve we want to use detach how it works so you need to take curve point and just put your point so instead of adding a point here like we used insert not we use detach 
what it does it converts it into three curves so main curve is remains the same and it also create two more curve so from the point we want we use curve tool sorry the curve point and put the point there and use detach detach will just detach it from that point and make two more new curves this is how you detach work okay so next is open close so how does the open close work let's create a curve circle so this is a closed shape so if you want to create a circle you won't be able to create it here we have the history of it it's gone okay so let's create a, try to create a circle one point here one here one here it won't close automatically we need to close it so this is where we use open close curve when use a close when i used close curve so either it close the curve or it open it if it is a close it will open it if it is open it will close it it basically joins the end point from the starting point so if i just select this circle what will happen open close it basically opened it so it has his points very far away that's how it work sometime you gonna going to need it so the next is rebuild so what does rebuild do so let's say we have this circle we need to make some shape let's say i want to make a lip shape so it doesn't have enough to create a proper lip outline so what we need we need more point to create a point here to create a nice curve here so we use rebuild what it does it gives you a lot of information just reset the tool this is how you get keep the in tangent cv in up spam just three spam or two one linear you can convert or keep original all you going to need is increase the number so let's say 12 right now it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 points we will converting it to 12 points object mode you must be in object mode then it will work apply but it does it added more points it won't be 12 it will be like 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 6 so exactly 12 so we got 12 points now we can we have more points then we have more control let's try to create our shape what we want so if you feel we need more points or we just need a point here so that is our open uh, the rebuild tool so let's move to the next tool next is reverse direction let's create a curve some tools in rigging or something else like motion trail or motion path we need to create curve where the direction matters and for the also the log length you see you can't move from here start point you can only move from the end point 
so what if we want to want our endpoint to be here in this this end so what we need to do we just need to use reverse direction apply uh, it kind of destroyed my shape but it does the thing it change the direction now the end is at the back and the start is at the front that's all it does these are the only tools we have not the only tools these are the tools useful tools in the curves you're going to need to build everything this was like a crash course pretty fast and we'll meet in the next video for the bezier curve thanks for watching